After half a year of the internet raising alarms at the fucking EU's copyright directive, YouTube, a goddamn month after the initial vote in September, finally woke up to the danger that this entire directive would pose to the platform. In a post made by YouTube in October the 22nd, they outlined their concerns with this and tried to inform the general public about this. They said, This legislation poses a threat to both your livelihood and your ability to share your voice with the world. And, if implemented as proposed, Article 13 threatens hundreds of thousands of jobs, European creators, businesses, artists, and everyone they employ. The proposal could force platforms like YouTube to allow only content from a small number of large companies, as it would be too risky for platforms to host content from smaller original content creators, because the platforms would now be directly liable for that content. Essentially, this directive swaps the blame from the copyrighted content from being posted from the person who uploads it to the platform where it was uploaded. It's pretty much the same as calling a cab to go to the bank, to then rob the bank and blame the taxi firm. It just doesn't make any practical sense, is what I'm trying to say. Now, what's the best way to do this? What is the best way to fulfill what the European Union wants to do? Despite what the occasional naysayer will say in regards to the effects or this or the claims they can't actually do this, the answer is, of course, upload filters, and the European Union knows this very well. Ladies, gentlemen, and another 84 made-up genders that I can't be bothered to name, let's check out Article 13 to see what the European Union says about this. This is the whole thing, in case you're wondering, and in it, the EU outlines that service providers online will have to use content recognition technologies. Now, what does this mean? Well, it's very simple. It's an algorithm which will scan anything uploaded, whether that be music, text, images, code, videos, and so on, compared to a giant database of copyrighted works, and if a match is found, prevent it from being uploaded. Now, while an algorithm can match something taken straight from a TV show, for example, it can never understand the context under which it was used. Any content creators watching this will know that they can just use like 5 seconds of a song in a 10 minute video and if those 5 seconds of the song are matched, doesn't matter if the rest of the video is not even related, those 5 seconds were used, could have been used transformatively for criticism, parody, whatever, but your video will get demonetized or taken down depending on what song or whatever you use. There's already provisions in place to make sure the public can use portions of copyrighted work without actually infringing on the copyrighted content. For example, if the use falls under categories like education, parody, criticism, etc., you will be exempt from being sued for copyright. This is called fair use. It's just one of the provisions in place, but it's something that some people don't seem to understand. I'll get to that in another video. The effects of Article 13 are still uncertain due to the fact that this is only a directive and the member countries of the European Union will have to adapt this into their own legal systems. But one thing that is widely agreed on, even by the people in the European Union themselves, is that this will lead to some form of mass censorship as the platforms we all use, such as YouTube, Facebook, Discord, etc., will either try to find ways to accommodate for the countries they want to operate on or will outright leave as YouTube and Google News have threatened to do. Countries, by the way, which will have to take the directive and make it work within their own legal systems as I just mentioned, which essentially means we'll have 27 fucking variants of this directive. Side note, I don't think football sport loving fucking Portugal, where people essentially get high off of advertisements with football players in it, are going to take very highly to have their favorite topics blocked from being discussed online or clips of their favorite sport blocked from being shared online. We are the country that gave an airport to a fucking football player. We named Madeira Airport after Ronaldo. What the fuck is wrong with us? But you may be saying it can't possibly get any dumber than this. It is impossible for this entire situation to be any dumber. There is no way you can make this situation any worse. That's right, Swedish MEPs apparently voted in favor of going by and letting Article 13 pass without a debate on it by pressing the wrong fucking button on a margin of five fucking votes. 
a group of Swedish MEPs have revealed that they pressed the wrong button and have asked for the record to be corrected. They have issued a statement saying that they intended to open a debate on amendments to the directive so they could help vote down articles 11 and 13. Now you might be saying, well this sounds like a complete and load of utter bullshit and it sounds like they're covering their asses because of the backlash they know that they will get and you would be right. Because just two days before, they were announcing their support for Article 13 and had no fucking clue what the thing entailed. Thanks, Sweden, you fucking cunt. Now finally, we get to why you clicked on this video. What can we do? What can we do about this? Well, now that it's passed in Parliament, it needs to go to the European Council for approval. We can still contact our council representatives, and in this case, we have way less people to convince, and it, as it's just 27, and we can still get them to reject it, as it only takes 35% of them to reject it to trigger a blocking minority, which means this goes back to the drawing board. Sounds nice, right? So, let's find out who they are. Um... Um... Uh... Oh, Jesus Christ. Dear fucking god. Oh, for fuck's sake! I'll leave a link in the description where you can find who your council representative is and how to contact them. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one, and I wish you all luck. I've contacted mine already, so yeah, good luck with yours.